Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? t power t power 3 equals 7 to 9. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. So we have power 3 here. And as usual, we are going to raise each part of this equation to the power of 3. Of t power t power 3. This is raised to the power of 3. Equals some to nine raised to the power of three. So what next we are going to do is I'm going to treat this as maybe n, and I will treat this as n. So this is like saying t power n all power m, and since this is a unit, I can simply have it as t power n all power n. So I can change the powers. So the rule of this t power 3 will come outside the bracket when well, this will get inside the bracket. So I'm going to have t, which is the t here, just like the t we have here, raised to the power of n, m is now 3. And this is raised to the power of n, which is t power 3. This equals 7 to 9 power 3. From here, this and this are the same. So we need to ensure that this base and the exponent here are also the same. How do we achieve that? Now, 7 to 9 is product of 9 times 9 times 9, meaning that 7 to 9 is simply 9 to the power of 3. So I can easily replace this 7 to 9 here with 9 power 3, meaning that I'm going to have t power 3 raised to the power of t power 3 equals 9 power 3 raised to the power of 9. Remember, there's 3. Raised to the power of 3. Remember, there's 3 here already. So from here, remember, if you have a power n, raised to the power of n, equals a power n times n. Multiplying this right here, I will have t power 3, raised to the power of t power 3, equals 9 power 3 times 3. This is 9. So from here, if you have a power a, and this equals b power b, that means you have a equals b. So, you can have t power 3 equals 9. Have t power 3 equals 9. So to solve for t, what I'm going to do will be to easily take the cube root of both part of this equation. So I can simply have this as t power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3 equals 9 raised to the power of 1 over 3. So from here, if you have a power n raised to the power of m equals a power n times m. So by multiplying this exponent, I'll have t power 3 times 1. 3 divided by 3 equals 9 power 1 over 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So from here, I'll have t equals 9 power 1 over 3. And from here, 9 is a perfect square, which is 3 power 2, which is 3 power 1 over 3. So from here, you also have a power n, which is 3 power 2 equals a power n times n. 
So applying this right here, I will simply have 10 equals 3 power 2 times 1, 2 over 3. This becomes our answer, but also, if you have a power n over m, this equals the m root of a power n. So this will simply mean we are having the cube root of 3 power 2. And 3 power 2 is 9, so this means we are having the cube root of 9. So guys, that is it. And this becomes the solution. So the next thing we are going to do will be to check. Let's check if the value of t will satisfy this equation. Remember our t equals the cube root of 9 or 3 power 2 over 3. So we are going to insert this for t. I will have, instead of writing t, have 3 power 2 over 3. Raise 3 power of 3 power 2 over 3. Raise 3 power of 3 equals 7 to 9. So from here, I just apply a power n raised 3 power of n, which equals a power n times n. Multiply this out 3 times 2. That is 6 is divided by 3. That is 3. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So I have 3. 3 power of 2 over 3. Raise 3 power of 3, 3 power of 3 times 2. That is 6 is divided by 3, that is 2. Equals 7 to 9. From here, I have 3 power 2 over 3. 3 power 2 is 9. Our power 9 equals 7 to 9. From here, I go back to a power n. Power n equals a power n times n. This gives us, this is 9 times. 2, that is 18, 18 divided by 3, that is 6, so we have 3 power, this is 18 divided by 3, equals 7 to 9, and 18 divided by 3 here is 6, so we have 3 power 6, equals 7 to 9, and 3 power 6 is simply 3 times 3, Is this equal 7 to 9? 9, 27, 81, 2, 4, 3. 2, 4, 3 times 2, this is 7 to 9. And this equals 7 to 9. Left hand side equals right hand side. So guys, that is it. And this is how you can actually solve this. Equilibrium cup, all you need to do is, since this is raised 3 power up 3, you raise each of the exponent to the power of 3 again. And that will give you this. Another trick is this will represent a unit. T power 3 represents a unit. In this variable, we make use of n. So why the 3 here represent m? Then we apply this identity. T power n or power n equals t power m all power n. So the t power 3 comes inside. Why the t power this will go outside? The 3 comes outside. So this will give us t power 3, the m, and the t power 3, which is the n comma side, and that equals 7 to 9 power 3. At this point, we ensure that the basis and the experiment are the same on both sides of this equation. And that made us to express 7 to 9 as 9 power 3. We multiply the exponent 3 times 3 times 9. a power a equals b power b. We apply the identity. That means a equals b. We created the exponent, t power 3 equals 9. We solve for t by eliminating this 3 here by multiplying the exponent by 1 over 3. 
we do the same thing on both sides here and here and this cancel 3 we have t equals 9 power 1 over 3 and we express 9 as 3 power 2 which give us 3 power 2 over 3 and that is it you can as well insert it back into the original equation and you're going to have your sum to 9 make use of this identity a power n or power m equals a power n times m this will simply give you 3 power 6 and that is 7 to 9 so guys that is it thank you and see you again bye